Hi, welcome to Parametric House. Uh, in this class of tutorial, I want to show you three example files uh, of how you can use the offset intersection uh, component from the Fennec plugin. Uh, the first example, as you can see here, is a series of curves. We can define the inner offset, outer offset, which I'm going to explain step by step. And we're going to also make a value list. So uh, we can say maybe we want a round offset or a chamfer offset. Uh, we can also define points. So if I give this inside here, you can see it's only going to offset this inner region. And if I give this here, it's only going to offset this one. Uh, the second example is you can produce a series of random uh, lines inside a rectangle, as you can see here. And you can also distribute them inside a boundary. So for this example, it's going to be an ellipse, a parametric ellipse, and that's going to affect the lines. Uh, we can change the rotation of these lines, the minimum and maximum rotation of these lines. Uh, we can define how many uh, number of lines we need inside this and also a seat which you can produce uh, different random results. So this is going to be the second example file. Uh, for the third example file, we're going to define a curve, uh, which I'm going to explain. Uh, and as you can see here, we can make it uh, like a polyline or a curve. Uh, then we're going to define a point which is going to affect the array around this here. And as you can see here, we can change the number of segments we need and also the offset is going to give you the thickness. Uh, okay, for the first example file, I'm going to just draw a series of uh, curves or polylines in Rhino. So I can just draw a rectangle, for example, and I can draw a polyline, and I can also draw a line, and also a curve. And if you want to, you can also draw a closed curve like a circle like this. Okay, let's go to the top. And uh, we can bring them inside the grasshopper by going to the params menu, uh, geometry and curve, and set multiple curves to in, uh, import them inside grasshopper. So I'm going to set multiple curves, select them, and then we have them in grasshopper. Okay, uh, after we have them, uh, we can go to the Fennec plugin. And in the curve um, tab, you can find this offset intersection component which is a great tool. You can just give that to the C input, which is the curves. Uh, there is also a plane for this. So for now we are in the XY plane uh, and the default, I think it's XY plane. But if we rotate this and put this in the XZ plane, we obviously have to define the plane here. So you can see that we have to define uh, the plane we want to work with. I'm going to stick with XY plane. Uh, the next input is the inter, uh, inside offset and outside offset. So I'm going to give us a, a number slider easily and also another number slider to the outer offset. Let's go to the top. Okay, uh, this is going to offset the curves inside the boundaries as you can see here. And this is going to offset the curves outside. Okay, so you can also control that if you want to, you can give the same number if you want to have the same thickness. But obviously, this is going to also help you to control the border thickness. Uh, there is also a corner type sharp round smooth chamfer. Uh, as you can see here, the input says uh, there is a sharp is one round is two and so on. If you have this input, you can uh, just give this a number slider if you want to. So it's like zero to, sorry, it's one to four. And give this to the T. And you can see that you can produce different corner types easily. But if you want to learn a component which is also really helpful for visualizing uh, data, uh, you can go to the params menu, input, and use this value list. So if you double click on it, it's going to open. I'm going to type uh, the four values we have here, sharp, around smooth and chamfer and just hit OK. Uh, as you can see here, the numbers are one, two, three, four. Double click it again. And as you can see, it's writing num uh, some equal something here, which means the sharp is going to give you the sharp text. So I'm going to stick with one, two, three, and four for these inputs that is going to give us the output. So if I uh, connect a panel to this, you can see the sharp is giving you a one, a round is giving you a two, smooth is giving you a three, okay? Uh, you can uh, change that into a checklist, 
a value sequence which is going to be changed by this and a value cycle which is just going to change when you click that. I'm going to stick with a value, a checklist. And when you give a checklist, uh, remember that you, uh, if you give uh, all of those inputs, it's going to produce three outputs. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to tick one of these uh, items. So if it's a sharp, it's a, if it's a smooth, and smooth and round is uh, equal, but this is like circle and that's smooth. Anyway, you can pick between that and chamfer is just a chamfer. You can see here. Uh, fillet, okay, let's stick with sharp. And another thing that you can control here is the uh, point input. If I just right click here and extract it, it's going to give me a point container. And I'm going to just right click and set multiple points. And for example, maybe I just want this boundary, this one, this one, and this one. And when you select those points, you can see that these points is just going to give you the boundary you are inside it. So that's also useful if you want to uh, select the boundaries. If you don't want to just leave it alone, it's okay, okay? Uh, after giving the input, uh, what I can do here is get the outer curve and the inner curves, as you can see here. Uh, obviously, if I use the shift key to add it into one container, all of them are going to go into uh, one curve and I can use the surface uh, boundary yeah, make a boundary like that I think the circle is not really good example for this because if it's like intersecting here and it's going to give you something like that okay so this is a better example I'm going to turn off the points okay so that is going to give you the offset inside and this is going to give you the outside offset uh, you can obviously change the points easily and get results you can see here it's a really great tool if you want to uh, work with a series of uh, planar curves uh, so that is going to give you the boundary surfaces if you want to have the inside surfaces you can just connect a surface to the inner part and that is going to give you the inner surfaces. Uh, I can also connect a, a display custom preview to one of these and give it a swatch. So that is going to be a blue maybe color. Turn this off and give another color to maybe the boundaries here. Uh, maybe we stick with black if you want to and also if you want the curves you can just bake that if you want that into Rhino so if I just hide all of these I can also right click and internalize uh, if I bake that I will have all of those curves inside Rhino which I can use in my project uh, if I want to get only the surfaces I can bake that inner surfaces here and go to the shaded mode so you can see that and if I just want the boundary I can make that and get the boundary here okay that was the first example file of how you can use this uh, offset uh, intersection component and produce different results uh, another thing that you can do here is uh, for the curves you can go to the curve a division just for visualization purposes I can give a dash pattern to that turn off the curves and give a number slider to the uh, pattern that is the pattern of the size of the dash and gaps if you give multiple number sliders it's going to produce a pattern based on these sliders it's going to be like dash gap dash and so on but I'm going to stick with one number slider to just control that and that is really helpful if you want to control the size okay so that is how we can uh, use this offset intersection component and let's go and uh, talk about the second example file